Okay, today I'm going to show you how to access uh, ArcGIS Collector as well as uh, pulling up a Survey123 that we have here, uh, Survey123 form from Collector. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, pull up the Collector app. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and sign out. And once I have my Collector app open, I'm going to sign into ArcGIS Online. And once I'm signed in, I have my location turned off because I'm working from home today and I'm not on site at this location. So I'm going to cancel that. It's just giving me a warning that my location is disabled. And in this case, uh, normally I would look for my map. In this case, I'm going to do manhole inspections. And I have my map pulled up here. I'm going to select a manhole. Gives me my manhole ID, some of the different features of that manhole. I can view previous inspections here. Um, in this case, I want to add a new inspection, so I'm going to go Add Inspection Record. This is going to pull up Survey 123. Now we've designed the Survey 123 in the in the background, uh, in the, and we have uh, designed that using the Survey 123 Connect. That's the Windows app. Uh, so now, as you can see, it pulls up my inspection survey for that particular manhole. I've got structure information. It automatically grabbed my structure number, as you can see there, and we're not able to edit that as the end user. So that builds in some extra error-proof uh, functionality there. I can put in the address. In this case, it automatically logged my AGO uh, username there for inspected by. And I can select an asset class. In this case, we're going to go sanitary and ownership. It automatically grabs today's date and then asset type. This is actually filtered uh, based on my class up here. So based on the uh, asset class, it's filtering the asset type. In this case, we'll select manhole. And now I've got these sketches that I can do a side profile view. I can take notes here on that and I can draw on the background image as well as I can put in uh, reference information there. We'll say an elevation of 720.20 on this one. And then I submit that and it saves that as part of my survey. I'm going to move down here. We'll look at castings. I have casting type and I can put in information on the casting height. I can also put in my information on adjustments and structure. <clears throat> more detail on structure type. I can put that here and I can enter that information as you can see all through these drop downs whether the manhole has steps or not and step material I can select that and then I can put in some random notes here on the structure. The nice thing is I can also use the I can use the text typing or I could use the microphone and do the voice recording on the notes as well. Now for this particular manhole I want to be able to log pipe sizes so I can put in there size of pipe and I can put in the angle at which those come into the manhole. I can also enter the uh, drop distance of that particular pipe and then you'll notice that uh, I could put that in inches. If I go back up here and I put in my put in my reference elevation Let's find where that's at here. We'll say this is 720.2. And you'll notice uh, if I go down here that it did under my pipes, it automatically calculated my invert as 717.2. So it took the reference elevation minus the 30, 36 inch drop. And that's all we have. Now we've finished the survey. Now we're going to click send now to submit the survey. And then that will submit that survey into the system. And I'm back to the survey one, two, three. If I want to get back to collector, I just double tap the home page on the, again, I'm on an iPhone here. So that makes a difference. Double tap that button. And then I'm back to the, uh, back to the collector app. And then that survey will eventually show then up in my historical uh, it is right now showing up in my historical data on my previous inspections. So there you have it. That's how you utilize the Survey123 app with Collector. Thanks for watching today.